Hi hey everybody, it's Deb here with Country Craft Creations and Creative Life and today we're going to be doing our first project with the Doodlebug Hello Craftology Kit for June. So, so uh, thank you for subscribing and thanks for all your lovely comments um, and welcome to all my new subscribers. So I hope you find my channel um, inspirational and I hope that you all try out some of my projects that I do. So, and if you do, if you could just give me a shout out, I would really appreciate it. Okay. Um, and let's see here. So for this card, we are going to be doing um, a shaker card, but it's going to be the impossible card. So, um, lately everybody's been doing the impossible card and so I thought, um, I wanted to try it, but I thought it would be really cool to do it as a shaker card. So, um, I did go on, I went on YouTube, okay, <laughs> and I found a tutorial and so our card size is actually going to be five by seven and, um, so that's the card size we're going to be doing. And then, um, I did make some templates um from the tutorial that i watched um and i can't remember um the lady's name that i um watched but um i will put um her name in my messages down below okay so i will let you know or i will go ahead and add it um look it up and add it to my comments in here um so um, but she was really great at explaining everything and um, so I went ahead and just did templates because I thought y'all might like to have this card but like maybe do a template so you you have it in your um, your stock so if you have you know want to do another one you can do one so I'm going to give you all the measurements now okay and then um, I'm going to be doing it with you or you know on here so I because I didn't cut out any of the pieces except for the shaker card uh, part so again your card is actually going to measure um, five by seven so you need to cut down a piece of cardstock okay and I'm gonna be using um, this is just from my stash so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that color because I thought it went really well with the color uh, from this paper collection um, and then um, for the templates the first template you're gonna do is going to be three and a quarter you're gonna cut a piece of paper out it's going to be three and a quarter by four in three uh, three quarters okay so you're going to need two of those okay and then the second template that you're going to need is actually going to be three inches by four and a half inches okay so that's what I did now in her tutorial I think she used the same measurement for this but um when I did mine, it didn't it didn't really turn out right. So I don't know if I did something wrong. So I just kind of um, made my own templates, so to speak. <laughs> so this one's three or four and a half by three. Okay. Um, the other template is going to be um, three and a quarter. Uh, so it's four by oh yeah four and three quarters. Okay. So those are the two that you need. And then um, she did like a little strip across, and I'm sure you've seen everybody do that little strip across their impossible card. So the strip that I uh, measurement I came up with because um, I she didn't say what it was on her um, tutorial, but I went ahead and did three and a quarter by five and three quarters. Okay, so that's that's my measurement, and I, you'll need two of these. So two of these, and then two of each of one of these, okay, those templates there. So um, for this card, I thought it would be super cute if we did a shaker card. So as I said, um, I am going to be using this little cut apart here, okay? And then you will need to acetate for your window, okay? And then I went ahead and cut out four squares and then the in or um, four squares. I went ahead and cut out squares um, or triangles, rectangles. Sorry, <laughs> rectangles. I 
do know my shapes, y'all. I promise. <laughs> um, <laughs> at least I didn't say circles. <laughs> so, um, and um, we're going to go ahead and uh, do this. And then this will be your little window here. Okay. So on your rectangles, okay, you're going to need 10 of these. So um, to make these, I went ahead and used my die. And um, I used... I used my, um, I think I showed this once before, but I just used um, my uh, Spellbinders card creator. It's the A2 Matting Basics um, Spellbinders. So I actually used, um, one second, let me put this one back. I didn't use this one. I used these two. So I used the third one from uh, fr the size down, okay? So you have your large and you got two sizes down. So it's the third one down. And then I used um, the fifth one down. So um, that's how I came up with this size, okay? So, um, and then I just went ahead and cut them out on my, on my big kick, okay? And, um, so that's, so again, you only 10 of those, one acetate, okay, sheet for your window, and then your little cut apart, okay? And then, um, for this card, um, I'm going to, you will need a pencil and some scissors, okay? Um, the card does measure four by seven, so we're going to cut it down to seven, I mean five by seven, yeah. So seven and then at five and then I'm just going to keep these and put those to the side and um, then I just wanted to share with you real quick before I get started because I might forget these are the two papers I'm going to be using because I thought that they looked really cute with this so um this is what I'm going to be using for this. I thought it looked really cute, really cute with it. So, um, and that's part of the reason why I picked this paper because I was going to do white, but then um, I was thinking it would be really nice to have a colored card. So, um, you will need a pencil and you will need your um, ruler. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down for this one real quick. Okay, because we are going to be doing some measuring. So um, let me. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, I'm just going to bring up my controls real quick, and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. Let's see. Okay, so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. And if you notice, I got a new mat, so yay! <laughs> I got tired of that pink one. It was so dirty, and I washed it, like, all the time, and it just felt like it, even though I washed it, it never came clean. I just felt like I just needed something new. So, um, I'm going to take my ruler, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and mark with my pencil. And I'm using a pencil. You, you can use a pen if you want um, to see it better. And I'm using a, a pencil here. Hopefully I can see it. So there, yeah, I can see it. Okay. So at one and a half, and then at five and a half, you're going to go ahead and mark it. Okay. And then, um, then you're going to go ahead and bring the um, ruler up top. Okay. And I'm just going to turn my ruler this way so I can see it. And bringing it to the end here. And then at three and a half is where you're going to mark it. Okay. So it looks like it's right in the middle of that. Okay. So it's at three and a half. It's like not right at three and a half. It's like. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
So um, that's how she did hers. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flip your or turn, rotate your paper. Okay. And then you're going to go from the top here. And you're going to go ahead and mark it at two and a half. So you're going to mark it at two and a half there. Okay. And then same thing on the bottom. So I'm just going to turn my ruler this way. Okay. And again, I'm just going to line it up towards the edge and then mark it at two and a half. So um, there's all my marks. If you guys can see my little pencil marks. So they're at the bottom. There's that one. There's this one at the top up here. And I've got the one on the side here at three and a half, one and a half, and five and a half. Okay. So, um, okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line straight down the middle here. So, I'm going to line that up. And how I did it is, okay, if you have a grid mat, okay, this is <laughs> It's kind of cheating a little bit, but um, it works. And since sometimes I get a little bit wonky on my lines, um, my, eye, my husband says that my eyes are crooked, so that's why I always see any pictures crooked on the wall. So, <laughs> so um, anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put. You're gonna go ahead and draw a line to both of through that both of those lines. Okay. This. Okay. So there is our line. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate your paper again. Okay. And for your three and a half line, which is the only uh, line that's up here on top here, you're going to draw a line from there to the middle part. Okay. And again, I'm just going to line that up right in the middle. And take my ruler and kind of line that up. And straighten my paper out because I know it's kind of crooked. With the grids, it's just it's easier for me um, to make sure everything's lined up right. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab. That line, whoop, in the middle of the line. Okay. I'm gonna grab my line and, whoop, I came too far down. I need to stop at that middle line there. So I'm just gonna erase my line here. Okay. We are going to erase our lines anyway, so you don't have to press very hard if you don't want to. Um, the other thing is you can kind of flip it over if you wanted to after we get done cutting everything and stuff. So um, the two lines that are down at the bottom, you're going to go ahead, go ahead and draw a line up to that middle line there. Okay. So again, I'm just going to line those up with my grid here. And I'm just going to draw a line to that middle section. Again, over here, same thing. Okay, just like that. So your card will have some, you know, squares in here. After you do that, then what um, what I did was I went ahead and cut my um, my sections. So you're going to go ahead and turn the one line towards you like this. And you're just going to go ahead and cut straight up to that middle line. Okay, you're not going to go past that middle line there. Just like that. Okay, so now you have this part. You're going to turn your card and you're going to go ahead and cut 
straight up to the other line and right to that middle line only and same thing on the other side this card is so cute so I'm looking forward to making this card so the next thing you're going to do is grab your scoreboard okay and we are going to score it we're just going to score only this section here in between these two um, tabs that we cut so just this middle part from here to here is the only part we're going to score okay so you're going to line that up and so um, that should be at the two and a half you're just going to find your two and a half mark okay and I'm not scoring I'm just kind of like trying to find my area here so and I'm just going to score right on that line right there okay just like that so now you have a score line right there okay and then what you're going to do is you are going to flip your card like this right yeah <laughs> so you're going to bring it's kind of like um like the twist so your card is like this and you're just going to twist it like that so now you have one big end here okay so I don't know if you guys missed that. Let's see here. So I don't know if I was out of the camera. Or not. So the card's like this. You're just going to twist it like this. Okay. And you're going to have one big part up here on this side that's going to fold over. Okay. And then your other big part is going to be on this other side here. Okay. So your card, when it sits, it'll look like a little easel, just like that. Okay, so that's your impossible card. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, now we just have to make our little um, templates here. And... Okay, so I'm um, just going to go ahead and burnish that down a little bit. And so for the templates, um, again, you'll need, um, you just need your scissors. Um, you can use your cutter if you want to. It's totally up to you. Um, I do need to cut my papers because I didn't cut them out yet or anything. So your first, um, you're, you're going to cut two of these out, and it's going to be at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay. So I'm just going to um, put my little card up here and keep my little templates off to the side. Oops. Okay. So I'm just cutting that off there. And again, this is the doodle bug. So the first piece we're going to do, okay, is you're going to need your pencil and your ruler again. Now, um, for this one, you are going to use, put like your one, okay, is going to be facing you. So you'll want to turn your ruler the opposite direction, uh, you know, um, so your one is actually facing downwards. So, and you're going to line up your paper to the one okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go up to um two and a quarter so you're going to mark two and a quarter okay with your pencil 
so I'm marking mine a little bit darker than I, uh, but because I have dots on mine, so um, that's why. <laughs> but um, then you're gonna go ahead and grab your ruler and you're gonna turn it um, this way, and then you're gonna go ahead and go in two eighths. So at two eighths of an inch, you're going to put the two eighths on the end of your paper here. Okay. So, so then that'll bring you here. Okay, your two eighths is right here, and the end of your ruler is here. And so you're just gonna mark the end of your ruler right there. Okay. There. And then we're going to draw a line and connect those two to make like a little square right here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and push my paper up here with my grid. Okay. Okay. So now I'm just going to grab my line and I'm just going to bring it down. Okay. To where I think it should stop. And then I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm going to put it on my other line. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and draw the line there. Okay. So now they connect. Okay. And so once you get them connected like this, you're going to go ahead and take your um, your papers, okay, and make sure that you have, if you're using a pattern paper, okay, because I did this earlier, and so I'm telling you, <laughs> okay, because <laughs> then what will happen is if you're using a double side, one will be correct, and then the other one won't be correct, so... <laughs> So, um, so I'm just letting you guys know that this is what I did earlier. So, um, I just want to make sure that, you know, you have it faced the same way. Okay. So make, because I had my, my pattern paper this way. So when I cut it out, I had, it was, this side was this side and then this side was this side. So, <laughs> so. So I'm just letting you guys know, make sure that you have them, you know, together correctly. <laughs> so, okay, so then um, once you have those together, then you can go ahead and cut, okay? And you're just going to follow your little line. And, um, you know, I do suggest, I mean, okay, so I made a template, okay? And um, so I could actually just use the template if I wasn't doing a tutorial. Um, then I would just use the template um, as my guide and I would just draw my lines, cut it out, and then I'm good. So, but um, since I'm doing a tutorial, you know, I have to do it with, with y'all and I don't mind. So, but um, having a template does make it a little easier for you guys. So, now you have your first mat. So, one will go there. And the other one will go here, just like that. Okay. So that that's how that will look. Okay. And then our second template, okay, which is the top part. Okay. You will need to go ahead and um, get your. Uh, you will have your ruler and. Okay, so again, you're going to go ahead and put your ruler with the one downwards facing you. Okay, you're going to go ahead and line your paper up to that. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and um, go up two inches, and that's where your line is going to be. Okay, so you're going to go up two inches. Okay, and then once you go up two inches, you're going to turn your ruler, okay, and you're going to go in again 
at, I think it was, in, yeah, two and two and eighths, two eighths. So again, two eighths. So right here, the two eighths. And I'm going to just scoot one up just a bit. So two eighths. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and mark it. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and draw your lines and everything like we just did a bit ago. Okay. Oh. Okay, so um, I had to figure out something. Um, I wanted to figure out if you have a pattern like hearts, okay? If you cut it this way, okay, then what's going to happen is then your little lip or this little flat part, okay, will have to be turned this way and then this one would be this way, which is fine. Um, but I wanted my hearts all facing towards me because this is where my um, shaker is going to be right here sorry I was out of camera so um, so I wanted all my hearts facing towards me and so in order to do that what you have to do is you have to cut your heart pattern or if you want let's say you have another pattern that you're using you have to cut it upside down okay in order for it to look uh, uniform like if you wanted the hearts facing you so um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heart paper upside down one will be up how do you say um, right side up the other one will be upside down okay and then you will cut it like that so let me go ahead and cut this out And I'm just following along my little pattern here that I did. Okay. Just like that. So now my heart will be going towards me. So there you go. So anyway, but I had to figure it out because I wanted to make sure that I had that right. So um, now you can go ahead and you can erase the lines that you uh, made on your papers. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if I have any um, showing here. And and if you wanted to, um, you could always erase the lines on your card as well. So, um, if they, if you want to, um, if they don't erase, um, just go ahead and flip it over. Um, that's what I was thinking about doing <laughs> too. <laughs> so, um, in order to do that, you would just go the opposite direction. So. So it would be this way. So then your um your um what do you call it your marks would be face down. Okay. You might still have pencil lines on there um, showing from reversing, but um you know it's up to whatever you want to do. So. Um, okay, so there you go. So either way, I think it looks really cute. So um, I don't, I'm trying to think which way I want it. <laughs> so, I think I want it this way. So um, okay, so there is our card.
So now um, all we have to do is go ahead and stick our pattern paper on there. So um, if you want to ink your pattern paper, you can do so now. And um, otherwise, just go ahead and attach it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my glue ready. So there is our, um, we're almost done actually with our card. So, <laughs> so you're going to bring in over um, all of your little um, die cuts that you did with your squares or your rectangles. And um, then what we're going to do is we are going to, um, I'm trying to think here. Um, this is part of the add-on um, for the June uh, Craftology kit um, for, from Country Craft Creations. And so I, I know that I had made these little um, things here, which usually everybody makes for the um, card. But I was thinking there is um, one thing in here that I think would fit across that. But um, I'm not sure. I think it will fit. Um, let me find it here. I just I hate to dump everything out, you guys. Because there is so much cool stuff in here. Oh my gosh. So you guys can't even, like, seriously. So there's this right here. There is an acetate one and a uh, paper one. And I was thinking the paper one would look really cool. The acetate one looks really cool too, though. So, um... I think it adds kind of a little bit of a really cool look. But I thought that would look really cute like that. And um, you could lay it like this. Okay. And um, I thought I might go ahead and just use the, I don't know if the dark paper might be okay. Let's see. You lay this across like that, and then lay that on the on the dark piece. I don't know. I have to think about that. But um, I just thought that that would look really cool. And then um, the other thing that I wanted to tell y'all is um, for my shaker. Okay. I went ahead and picked out a lot of 
the things that were going to stick in um, the shaker card from this um, add-on kit, okay, or from the add-on. Um, and again, this is the odds and ends. Um, Hello by Doodlebug Designs, and you can find this over at Country Craft Creations in the Craftology section because it is an add-on. So there's um, 101 pieces. So y'all, there is a lot. I mean, this thing is jam-packed with a bunch of different items, and look at all you get. Plus, you get the acetate stuff with it. So you'll get like the flowers and stuff that are in paper and you get them in the acetate and then you'll get like the phone in a paper and then you get it in an acetate. The same thing with the bird cages and the leaves and the bows and um, the phones. The phones are in an acetate and on, in paper. So um, all of that is just super cute you guys. And um so yeah, so I am like in love with this stuff. So anyway, I picked out a few, um, picked out most of all of these um, little tiny flowers, some hearts, um, some larger flowers, and then um, an acetate leaf and an acetate flower. And so um, we're going to be sticking those in our little shaker as well as, um, I don't know if I'm going to stick these. These were from a past Craftology box uh, back in uh, January um, with the Dane collection. And um, I still have some left. So um, I've been adding them to all my shakers. <laughs> There's still some left. So I thought um, I might go ahead and add some of these to it as well. Um, or I might go ahead and add um, some of those seed seedlings that are by Blue Fern that you can find over at Country Craft Creations. And there's tons of beautiful colors, you guys. I just love them. So um, they're just awesome. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick out one of my frames and I'm gonna go ahead and stick my acetate behind that, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue on the back of this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stick my acetate on that. And I'm just going to go ahead and burnish that down. Sorry about the noise. It's my daughter. She's in the kitchen. And my room is near the kitchen. So. <laughs> So, okay, so there is our window, and then you can go ahead and clean up your window. I'm just going to go ahead and gonna clean that up a little bit. It's got fingerprints and everything all over it. So, okay, so there's that. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and I guess I didn't, I must have had some extra um, Okay, so, okay, now that's fixed. Okay, so now what you do is with all of your cutouts, okay, um, you just glue them all together. So you just pick one cutout, glue around it, and this saves you from using foam tape. So um, if you don't have foam tape, that's fine. If you like using foam tape on your cards, um, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do that. Um, I I like the foam tape, but um, for my shaker cards, I, I really like doing this now. I've been doing this for a couple of cards um, lately, and I really, I just, I know you have to cut out, you know, a lot of different, you know, times, um, you know, to get the, le the height that you want. But I really like this technique because um, sometimes using the foam tape for me, um, I have to, like, I sometimes get little gaps or whatever, and then my stuff goes into the little gaps. <laughs> but it's like, 
I, it's just <laughs> a mess. <laughs> so, um, so. We can go ahead and we can just stick that up on top of our little, little bike scooter here. <laughs> so um, I am still getting some of that, that acetate on that. I don't know. I must have had some extra or something hanging out from there. There we go. Okay, I got it. So, okay, so there we go. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pick out from these what I want in here. Um, and just, I think I like these little hearts, but they're really big. They're kind of big, some of them. So I think I'm just going to keep about maybe um, five of these little flowers. Um, one of those little parts there, one little acetate part. Um, I think I'll do a gold heart, a little tiny gold heart in here. Um, I was going to do a leaf. I don't know if the leaf will be too big. Um, yeah, I got one. So, okay. So that's all I'm doing there. Okay. Um, I'm going to trade that one. This one out. Just keep those little flowers. Okay, so the rest of those can go back in my little odds and ends package, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and add. I think I am going to go ahead and add a couple of these little seed beads that I've got from the store. Okay, and I am going to add some of uh, these little. Um, guys that I've got. So I want to make sure this has enough. I think it does. Because um, this has some beads inside of this. And I don't want the beads to get stuck. Because that's what happened to me last time. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, see the bead? There's a couple of big beads in here that might get stuck. So I'm going to take those big beads out of here. Sure, I got a couple of good things going here. So, okay, so we've got a little bit of everything going on there so I think that'll turn out really nice so okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add my let me go ahead and move this around here so that way it's kind of not all in one area okay now I'm gonna go ahead and add my glue to the back of the frame okay and I'm going to go ahead and just glue that down. Making sure that I got that like in the middle where we can see everything. And 
and I probably will get some blue on my mat. So, as I can already tell, it's going down. So, there's our shaker, you guys. So, yay! So, you can turn that over, and then you can go ahead and wipe up some of that glue that's seeping out from there. Okay. I'm just going to wipe that up. And then um, I think on the back of this here, because we have, you know, our little thing is kind of showing and everything. So I think on the back of that, um, I might go ahead and um, see. So we've got a paper. Yay! So um, on the back of that, I might go ahead and put some pink paper on that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my little, or you know what? We have left over the polka dot paper, so I think I will use that instead. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, so now that can actually go on our card, just like this, okay? So, um, we can go ahead and attach that. Now, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and um, put a decorative piece of paper, pattern paper on the back of this, or you could leave it blank and just go ahead and sign it or whatever you want to do um, on that part there. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this, okay? So, um, again, I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue down on here, just like this. Now, so, because this will be heavy, okay, um, and our little card will fall over, I was thinking we might want to go ahead and add like a little stand on it. So, um, because it will be heavy. So, <clears throat> in order to do that, um, I'm just going to get a piece of decorative paper and we're going to glue it right here. And so it kind of kicks out a little bit. Okay. And um, then we're going to go ahead and put, um, then we're going to go ahead and put um, a piece of um, little paper right here. But um, I will be right back. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. So um, for my card, um, I decided to go ahead and um, make a frame. But I don't know what I did with it. So <laughs> I lost it. So um, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. I just had it a second ago because I thought it would look really cute on top of the frame here. Um, oh, here it is. <laughs> it was turned over. So I went ahead and just cut out another one um, of the frames um, with my rectangle dies. And um, so I thought it would look really cute on top of this. So let me go ahead and attach that. Okay. Um, I just wanted to give it some some color on here, and so I thought that would look really nice. So, um, so there's that, and then um, these um, are the strips that go across these like this. Okay, and um, I am going to use some 
um, foam tape on those. Okay. And um, I went and had to cut these at, I think they're six, six by uh, three to quarter, three in, oh my gosh, three to quarter, yeah, three to quarter by six, okay, is what I cut both of these at, okay, and um, I think at the beginning I said five and three quarters, but I mean, you can cut them down however you want for your card. I did six um, for, for me. And then these are going to fit on top of here, just like that, like a little border. Um, and these are actually, these are at five eighths by five and a half. Okay. So I did two of those. And then um, because our um, little shaker is a little heavy, okay. Um, I said I wanted to make like a little stand for it. It does stand a little bit on its own, but it will probably flop over. Um, I thought it would be cute if we did a little stand. And being that we're going to pop this up a little bit, this will help the stand rest on this part once this lays down here. Okay, so it won't lean back. So um, you're going to cut a piece of paper three and a half by four okay and then I did a little mat for it and that is actually two and seven eighths by three and three and seven eighths right yeah three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths okay so um so I'm gonna go ahead and put that together okay so I'm just gonna put some glue on here just like this, stick that on there. Okay, just like that. And finish that down. Okay, and then on the back of this, we're going to go ahead and add some glue. Or if you use tape, I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there. You're going to flip your little card up and just put that flush with the bottom of the card, okay? Or the little, yeah, the little card part. Okay, and then, you know, I'm kind of centering it a little bit. So, see, it will even stand by itself. So our little, um, this little thing here, once this, it will lay flat in the envelope. Once they get it, it'll flop open and it will stand by itself. Okay. So that's a cool idea. So, um, so anyway, so there's that part. So now we're just going to go ahead and glue these little guys on and, um, then we'll go ahead and pop those up and then add some embellishments and then we're done. And then, like I said, that'll help our little stand stand up. So, okay. So, then we can go ahead and um, you can add whatever, like on the back of this, if you want to write a sentiment or whatever, you could do that back here. I might go ahead and add a couple of flowers here. Um, so... I don't know what I want to add there. Um, 
Okay, so on the front, <laughs> on the front part, um, I thought about adding this. This is so sturdy here. But I kind of want this. I want to save that. So I'm actually going to take out some of these. I'm going to move my mess away here. And just take out some of these things here. And like I said, our little stand is going to make that, oops, I am out of focus, sorry you guys. So I added these little flowers here, I went ahead and popped these up with foam tape, and then our little stand here will stand up, um, because it will have this, okay. So, um, what you'll want to do is put another piece of foam tape right here under that bridge so it kind of pops up a bit so it catches this little guy just like that okay so it does stand up okay so um, if you wanted like I said you could go ahead and put something on the back of this if you wanted um, you could add a heart, a flower um, See, we have a little flower here on the sticker sheet. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that over here on this side. Like that. And then um, I don't want to add too much because, you know, in case um, we want to sign it or do something there, you know, we have enough room to do that. There's this little butterfly, that's cute. So, and then, like I said, you could always decorate it just you know, just to add something. I mean, if you wanted to, you could always just write like a little note back there, or whatever. So, um, but I'm gonna leave it because I think I am gonna write a little note back there. And I'm just going to go ahead and add um, a little pea part back there, too. And put that heart right here. And then put another one. 
here, and then I'll put another one there. So, so we've got some little things back there, so it doesn't look too plain. So there you go. So there's the back, and then like I said, you could sign it or whatever. You could even put your little note back here so nobody, you know, reads it or sees it. And then um, for this part here, you can always fold it under, over the card, like that, when you stick it in your envelope. Or you could even just, because we made it small enough, it will fold and it will um, go behind that card, behind our shaker, okay? So, um, so there is your card, you guys. So I hope you like it. I hope you try it. And um, I am loving that impossible card. So <laughs> it's just an impossible card with a twist. <laughs> so with a little shaker. So, um, so yeah, so there you go. So super cute. So um, thanks for joining me today, you guys. And I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>